by the name of Jesus. So we know you got new parts in heaven. And Lord, you can give kidney, kidney a new kidney. We believe it in the name of Jesus. We receive it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. It's the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Awesome testimony. He listened to Brother Kenneth Kenneth Taken's healing tape every day. I do too. So I tell you what, you've got to fight for your health. And if you don't know how to fight, you're at a disadvantage. Amen. God, that's good. How many of you really took a leap of faith? Thank you, Lord. Amen. You know, faith, you've got to take a leap of this guy. Uh, because God watches, and if you've got faith, he'll do something for you. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. How many of you live in by faith? The Bible says the only way you can please him is with your faith. And, and he that comes to God will believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So if you're not diligently seeking him, you don't deserve the reward. Amen? According to the word of God, we got to diligently seek him. And that means he's number one in your life. Amen. Amen. Number one. The Bible said we walk by faith and not by our feelings. So many people are defeated by their feelings. If they feel good, they yo-yos up. If they don't feel good, they yo-yo down. Amen. If you go by your feelings, you'll be defeated. I don't care how much of the words you know or how much you pray. If you go be defeated, you'll be defeated. And that's, that's the only way. But in Galatians chapter 3, everybody should read that at least once a day. Because it's got the whole answer in there about faith. About faith. But in verse 5, chapter 3, verse 5, it says, He therefore that ministered to you the Spirit and worketh miracles among you, Doeth he do it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? People defeat their own self, defeat their own self when they don't hear the word of God about faith. Because faith comes from hearing and hearing the word of God. Amen. I can be around you five minutes and tell whether you got faith or not. Because if you read in Romans, it says the word is faith. And if you ain't got that word in your heart, you'll be letting a lot of other stuff come out of your mouth. Amen. You, so everything that's done that God does for us, he does it by the faith that we've got and by the faith that we're active in. Faith without works is dead, dead, dead. Verse 6, even as Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness, know ye therefore, therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. How many of you are of faith? People don't realize how important faith is to them. Now, when Jesus coming back, come back, he's going to be looking for the ones that's got active faith in their lives. And so I want him, I want to have all of my faith zeroed in on him when he comes back. Amen. Amen. I don't want to miss it. Amen. Oh, yeah. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, the Bible says, Now faith is. Many people don't even know how to use their faith. When the devil comes after them, they just <laughs> yield to them and, instead of using their faith. James said, Resist the devil and he'll free from you. Most church people don't even know what the devil is. They're looking for somebody with a pitchfork. They're, they're not, they, they think if the doctor tells them they got arthritis, that's not the devil. But let me tell you something, arthritis is, is a spirit. And if you don't recognize it, you'll have, you'll have arthritis all your life. You've got to get rid of that spirit. A lot of people don't have, they think they resist the devil when they don't even know who he is. All sickness is of the devil. Yes. There wasn't no sickness to, to Adam's soul was out. 
When Jesus came to get rid of it, he gave us power, but the awesome message Wednesday night about the power of Jesus. Hallelujah. So if you don't know what the devil is, how are you going to resist him? He comes at you like an angel. Angel. A lot of people say, well, I wish I could quit smoking. You can't quit smoking unless you get rid of that demon. Amen. Oh, I didn't get too many amens. Right. I tell you, it's the truth. Nicotine is a demon. And if it gets a hold of you, you got to get rid of the demon before you can get rid of the cigarettes. Somebody give me an amen. amen. <laughs> okay. It's the truth whether you believe it or not. Anything is. Well, the Bible puts it this way in the Gospel of John 10. The thief come not to but steal and kill. What does nicotine do to you? It shortens your life. You might say, well, I know somebody with 100 was still smoking. Well, they'd probably live to be 120 if they had. Because doctors tell you it shortened your life 10 years. Amen. 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 Uh, and we're the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. And we need to protect this temple. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. I get much amen today. But I tell you it's the truth. I want you to live a long life, be happy, prosperous, and blessed. Thank you, Jesus. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. The best thing that ever happened to me, other than getting saved, is when I got a hold of faith. Amen. If, without faith, I wouldn't be here at 86. Without knowing how to resist the devil, I wouldn't be here. Because he tried to take me out several times. But like Kenny said, and I, I know that's true, there's a death angel. And, and when he come knocking on your door, if you ain't covered in the blood, you might as well go ahead and make your arrangements. <laughs> Amen. 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 I remember one time I gave my testimony. I had old heart surgery, and I am mean, going through something. And I had this dream or this vision, and I was in this place, and, and a nice, beautiful place, and I was sitting in front, and all these devils were coming at me, and they had, uh, you could see their fingers with no meat on them, and they were clawing at me, and they were just about to me. And, I heard this voice say he's covered in the blood. And when, when I heard that voice, they just melted. And Pastor Dorothy was praying for me at that time. That's when God gave me a brand new heart. Yes. Amen. Let me tell you, the devil is just as real as God is. That's right. And, and if you don't think he ain't after you, you're wrong. Because he wants to torment you, he wants to steal from you. And if you don't know the Word of God, he'll get by with it. He got by with it with me for 33 years. He had a hook in my nose, and every time he snatched it, I'd bow to it. Go to this joint. Go to this dice game. Go to this poker game. Go here. Go there. You know what? Jesus took that hook out, and he ain't never been able to put it back in. Amen. Living for Jesus is the best thing in the world. Yes, yes. It, it's not dead. It's not. The word is medicine to you. If you find the word, you find medicine for your flesh. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Without faith, we cannot. And look at somebody say, "You got to fight." You got to fight. The Bible says. 1 Timothy 6, 12, fight the good fight of faith. Yes. Well, if there's a good fight of faith, there must be a bad fight. Yes. So, I, I want to know what the bad fight is, and I want to know what the good fight is, because yes. I want the victory. Amen. Amen. Fight the good fight of faith. Hold fast your confession. Amen. Amen. In Ephesians 6, 10, it tells us to put on the whole armor of God. Many people don't even think about the armor. They just take off. But I'm telling you, if you ain't got your armor on, look out. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 
because when he hits at you, if you ain't got your armor on, he's going to get by with it. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 16, it says, Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Amen. Say the wiles of the devil. Wow. Wow. I mean, you have to know he, 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 he's been doing this for years, ever since, ever since day one, since since God kicked him out of heaven, he's trying to mess over God's people. The yeah. wiles of the devil. Put on the whole armor of God that you can stand against the wiles of the devil. Yeah. How many of you ever get a, a thought comes to you that just don't weigh up? That's the devil. Yes. My grandson asked me one time, he said, Dave, I talk to Jesus all the time. Why don't he say something back to me? <laughs> I said, he does. He said, how does he do it? I said, well, if something bad comes to your mind, that's the devil. If something good comes to your mind, that's the Lord. I said, cast the bad stuff out. Amen. Jesus thing. Think on the good thing. The Bible says that a man thinker so he is. Yes. What are you thinking about? Do you think you're sick and wore out and can't do nothing? Well, that's what you are. Think good, good of yourself. Amen. No matter what anybody else thinks, you that's think right. good of yourself. And yeah. as a man thinker, so he is. Think, think that you get feel. Think that you're well. Yes. Think greater is he that's in you than he that we pray, God, send down the power. Hey, it's already here. Right. You don't have to fast in part. If Jesus is inside of you, you've got all the power in the world. Right. When you walked in here, the power come in here with you. Right. All you've got to do is lose your faith and get a hold of it. Amen. Amen. Send down the power. <laughs> We've got the power. Amen. Hey, I've been living in it for 52 years. And it gets better every day. Listen, I've had some tests and trials, too. But you know what I found out? I, I got patience. Because if you don't have patience, you're going to have tests and trials. Amen. And when you pray, you've got to have patience and hold on to your confession until the Amen. answer comes. Amen. Because it'll come if you hold fast your confession. Amen. The Bible says God is faithful. Yes, He and, is. And he's faithful to answer your prayer if you hold fast your confession. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Put on the whole armor. Say, I got the armor on. I got, I got the armor on. Move on down the street. Yeah. I got the armor Amen. on. Hallelujah. Ephesians 6, 16, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherein you shall be able to quench all the fiery darkness of the wicked. So that's what, they're going to come at you. That's right. You take, I've known people that were so jealous of their husband, or a husband jealous of their wife, that they lived miserable, and again, they couldn't cast down their imagination. I used to know this lady that every time she heard a siren, she'd say, oh, I hope it ain't my kids. She lived miserable, miserable. She didn't know how to cast down them imaginations. You have to know how to cast down imagination. If you don't, you live a miserable life. Amen. In Corinthians, it says, bring into captivity every thought that don't, that don't, <coughs> Not, it's not from the Word of God or something good. Cast it down. You know why most people can't quit smoking? They think about it all the time. As a man thinks, so he is. Hey, I used to get up in the morning, the first thing I'd think about was a pale male and a can of beer. Well, when I quit thinking about it, I didn't need it no more. Amen. Amen. Didn't need it no more. As a man thinker, as a man thinker, so he is. You need to get that. Get your thinking straightened out. If you ain't got it straightened out, if you want to have victory in your life, you've got to do the right kind of thinking. Amen. Amen. A lot of people, men, or it could be men or women, they have a lust spirit, don't even realize it. Man, it got quiet in here. Man said, we're going out there, good looking woman. He needs that love spirit cast out of him. You say it again. I know I've been around people that do that. Amen. Been at work. 
He made him walk up the aisle and me and me and do that. They didn't even realize they got a little spirit. Hey, it's a lot of things we have to deal with if we're going to live for Jesus. If we're going to be the right kind of witness. Right. We need, Jesus is not the light no more. He's in heaven. We're the light. Amen. And he wants to so illuminate us that we'll shine everywhere we go. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. If we don't, we're not, we're not treating him right because he, he lives in us. He lives in us. In 3 John 1, it says, Beloved, above all things, I wish that you would prosper and be in hell as your soul would prosper. There's nobody can keep me from prospering. So Jesus wants me to prosper. Amen. And he does you too. He said, Beloved, how many of the luggage we got in here? There's got over several in here. He wants you to prosper. He wants you to be in hell as your soul prospers, your mind, will, and emotions. Well, how does your mind, will, and emotions prosper? <coughs> From the Word of God. The more you stay in the Word, the more your mind, will, and emotions work together. Amen. Amen. Mind, will, and emotions. Amen. How does it work together? In John 10, 10, the thief comes not to but steal, kill, and destroy. But thank God for that last part of that verse. Jesus said, I come that you have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. If you believe, let's stand up and shout. I don't want to be the tail. The Bible says I can be the head. Right. Right. Amen. And that's the only way we're going to win this dark world out there. It's not the world, it's the people that live in it. It's people deceived on the overcome. Deceived. Deceived. That man, heck, had to. Uh, Sister Marcia sung his song on the Baptist, an awesome song. Well, I'm telling you, I've sung it over and over and over again. He, uh, Terry said, do you believe in the Trinity? <laughs> are, are you a once, uh, a oneness Pentecostal? Uh-huh, all right. I tell you, man, I said, I don't have no title. Right. I'm just born again, born in the blood. Amen. Right. <laughs> <Right. laughs> I don't have no title. Jesus paid the price for me. Yes. Amen. I'm, I'm born again, washed in the blood. Amen. 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 And, uh, you know, you can't find Trinity in the Bible. Nope. Right. Can't find it. And won't. I just learned that recently. <laughs> but you and can't won't. find it in the Bible. But I believe God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, all three are what? One. 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 Amen. 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 At least, at least God waking some people up. <laughs> yes. If you want to know who Jesus is, read the book of Genesis and read the Gospel of John. And then read, you know, one of the disciples said, Lord, show us the Father. And Jesus said, how long have you been with him? And you don't know who the Father is. <laughs> Churches are full of them. Maybe some here today. Ooh, thank God. You're right. They don't know who the Father is. That's right. And, and that's why they don't get their prayers answers. Because they don't really, really realize the power and the authority in Jesus' name. He has all the power and all the authority. Yes. There's no more. Yes. He's got it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, you can live a victorious life yes. if you believe that and know that so the devil shakes. Amen. Jesus Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I love that last part of John 10, 10. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. In 1 Peter 5, 7, a few verses, casting all your care on him for he cares for you. All right. Well, if you don't cast all of them on him, you got them. And the way I like to do that, I hold my hands up. I said, Lord, 
I'm casting all my care on you, and I'm leaving them up there. Amen. Oh, you care. You have to cast your kids over on You have to cast your church over on Cast every, everything over on the Lord because he cares for you. He said he did. He cares for you. Amen. When, when you hit a stubble or, or the devil throws a, a, a crooked curved ball at you, cast it over on the Lord. He, he knows how to take care of the devil. Thank you, Lord. He defeated you. Amen. Cast all your care. It's, it's a lot of people in here today that's carrying their cares around. God don't want you to carry them around. He wants you to give them to Him. Amen. It's a lot of people in here today that need to hit the altar and say, Lord, I've let you down. I want you to help me get straightened back out. <coughs> and if you don't, you're just a little miserable. You, you've got you to be right with him. Amen. The Bible says, sin not. Everybody say that. Sin not. Sin not. Sin not. You don't hear much of that in the church now. But I'm telling you, God hates sin, and if you don't hate it, you can't be right with God. Amen. What is sin? It's anything that don't honor God. Amen. It's good preaching. And good amen. 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 Verse 8. Be sober. Why would the Bible tell us to be sober? How many of you ever seen a drunk? How many of you ever been a drunk? You can't tell a drunk nothing. You, know, you can't. He knows it all. I ain't heard nobody but myself. Biggest lie that I ever told. And a drunk will talk to a telephone pole or anything. <laughs> and God told us to be sober. What does it mean, be sober? Have a balanced life. In other words, don't be a pushover for the, for the world or for, for, the, for the devil's people. Listen, God wants to stand with you, and he will. Stand for truth. Amen. Stand for truth. Be sober. Be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, is a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. You know what that word devour means? He wants to eat you up. Every one of us, he wants to eat us up if he can. And I'm telling you, we're right with God, and 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 we don't know, put on the whole armor of God. He'll get by with it. He'll get by. He got by with it with me for 33 years. 33 years. Miserable. People thought I was happy. Miserable. Miserable. You can't be happy without God. That's it. That's all happiness it is. Baby. Glory to God. Be sober. Be sober. Verse 9. Whom resists steadfast in faith? The devil. Re resist him steadfast in the faith. Well, if you don't know what faith is, and you don't know how to use your faith, Satan's got an advantage on you. All right. And people that don't read their Bible a little, a little, I listen to it on my phone all the time. Even when me and Pastor Dolphy eat breakfast, I, I play scripture on, on the phone. And we've been doing communion the other night. And that, for a husband and wife, that's the greatest thing you do before you go to bed. Do it for right. anybody is to do communion. Amen. Amen. Orange juice don't cost it much. I mean, grape juice don't cost it much. <laughs> it's, your, it's your life. It's in the house. I mean, anyway, God's good. We need to do everything we can to be number one in God's sight. Amen. 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 James 4, 7, submit yourself therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Yes, First, we've got to submit to God. And we have to know what the devil's work is. He's not going around in a red suit with a pitchfork. He's arthritis. He's allergy. He's anything that hurts you. It's the devil. Read John 10, 10. The thief goes around, but still kills the time. 
anything that hurts you, he's behind it. God will never hurt none of his children. Amen. Amen. We're not over the curse. Christ has redeemed us. Galatians 3.13. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. How many of you know what the curse is? Yes. Read Deuteronomy chapter 28, the last 15, 16 verses. All sickness, no matter what it is, verse 61, all sickness is a curse. So name your sickness, and then say Galatians 3.13 says, I'm redeeming from this sickness in Jesus' name. If you have to say it a hundred times, say it a hundred times. We're redeemed. The Bible says, Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed out of the hand of the enemy. What the enemy got in his hand? He got a handful of sickness, misery, and anything else you can think of. We've been redeemed from it. Church, that's shouting. Somebody ought to shout. Amen. If you're redeemed, you ought to shout and be so happy. Glory to God. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. You are God's little children. 1 John 4, 4. And have overcome them, because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Amen. Is he in you? Is he greater? Yes. Glory to God. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Yes, amen. And we pray, Lord, send the power. Lord, anoint me. <coughs> He's already anointed you. Right. You just need to realize that. All right. And amen. I'll be 87 pretty quick. And I'm, I'm just thankful that I can do what I can do because there ain't too many people can keep up with me. And, <laughs> and I'll have to say <laughs> Happy Sunday. All right. I'm blessed. I'm blessed going in. I'm blessed yes. coming out. Amen. I'm blessed. You are too. Yes, if you confess it, hold on to it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe this. As you give, it'll be give back to you, press down, shaking together, running over. Me and the gift. When I see somebody coming in my yard, I said, well, what are you going to give me? <laughs> it's better to say that than what they want. <laughs> I get a lot of walk calls. Not people from this church. We've left. But people coming from everywhere. Can, can you get help me? I need groceries. Can you help me with a light bill? I say, where are you going to church? I don't go to church. I say, are you mad at Jesus? Find your church. Amen. Amen. The, the, the world is full of that. Full of that. And I've learned. God said, don't throw your blessings away. You can throw your blessings away. Amen. God bless you. He, he wants you. He blesses you to be a blessing, but not to be foolish. Amen. 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 In Luke 10, 19, the Bible said, we love it. I give unto you power to tread on serpents, scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. How many believe that? Yes. Greater is he that's in me. I got the power to tread over scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, instead of letting him tread over me. Thank you, Lord. What you say is what you have. And what you have is what you say. Mark 11, 23, and Proverbs 18, 21. Read it. What comes out your mouth from your heart is what you have. And so be careful what you say. Amen. 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 Be careful what you say. Job put it this way in Job 36, 11. I love this word. 
If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. I'm going to obey him, and I'm going to serve him, and I'm going to spend my days in prosperity and pleasure. He said, I wouldn't say that. Why? I want the devil to hear me. Amen. He's he the dude that wants to hear me, because he's the one that wants me to be in pleasure and prosperity. And Jesus said, if I'll obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. You can work and wear your fingers out and never get back. I've been there. But if you honor God and obey Him with your finances and everything, you can spend your days in pleasure and your years in prosperity. That just says the word. That's why Jesus said, I come that you have life and have it how? Hallelujah. I'm getting excited. God's everlasting love. God's everlasting love. God loves us with everlasting love. Yes, sir. In Romans chapter 8, verse 31. What shall we then say these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? You've got people that think they may be against you, but it don't do them no good. If God's for you, you're the head and not the tail. Amen? <clears throat> Amen. Romans 8, 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Say freely. Freely. Give us all things. Give us all things. Yes. All, things. all things. What is all things? That's everything you need. Yes. Everything you need. Freely give us all of us. Yes. Glory to God. <laughs> Isaiah 53, 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his strife, we, we are, are healed. healed. How many of you said that five times this morning? Got a few hands. I tell you, you start the day off right when you say it five times. By Jesus stripes, I am healed. healed. What's to say the last part of that word will go further now. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes, he is healed. You say you don't look like it. Don't make no difference. The word of God says I'm healed. Amen. Face I'm healed. If you get that confession and you hold fast to it, you can wear the devil out. Amen. And that's what we Jesus. Need Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil and he turned it over to us. Yes. Can, can you hear that? Yes. Amen. Jesus is in heaven. And he's turned it over to the believers to destroy the works of the devil. Yes. Right and we'll get to it. The real. We're, we're uh, with his witnesses. We're, we're his epistles. People read you like read a book. I know when I first got saved, they said, oh, you won't last long. You, you, we're going to keep the, your poker chair empty before you come back. Well, it ain't nothing up there. Now they all done gone. I guess the, all their chairs is empty too. <laughs> Yeah. I witnessed to a lot of them. One of them I witnessed to, I won't call that name. And he had a roll of $100 bill that big. He said, I said, are you ready to meet Jesus? He said, I got my money in I'm ready to go. Can you think of that? He was a businessman. Well known in Springfield. I said, I hope you make it. But I don't think your money's going to do you any good. You might want to throw it away because you can't carry it with you. And if you carry it with you, where you're going is a smoke. <laughs> Amen. That's the truth. He didn't like that too good. But, but he was wounded for me and for, for you for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. And the chastisement of peace was upon him. And with his stripes, with him. Can you believe with his stripes you're healed? Amen. Can you act on that? Yes. Can you take a leap of faith on that? Amen. Hallelujah. 
And, and First Peter, that was 700 years before it happened. Isaiah prophesied that 700 years before it happened. Then 60 years after it, it happened, First Peter 2.24, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness by whose stripes ye were healed. Amen. Say it with us. By Jesus stripes, Jesus stripes, I'm here. The more you say it, the better it is. The more you say it, you get it from here to here. It is, it's got to get here before it works. So if it gets here, it'll turn around and come back out here. Amen. Amen. With the heart, man believes unto righteousness, not with the head, with the heart. So. You get it in your head to your heart, and then it gets from your heart back out your mouth. All right. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. And then again in Matthew 8, 17, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Elias, the prophet, saying, Himself took our infirmities and bare our sickness. Well, if he bared my sickness, it ain't no need me having. That's right. Yeah. He took it for you. Well, you wouldn't have to have it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. In Mark 16, 15, 16, I'll go down a few verses. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. What is the gospel? It's the good news. It's the good news. I don't have to be poor no more. I don't have to be sick no more. I can be blessed and highly favored. That's the gospel. If I'll surrender to Jesus. Repent and be baptized. Amen. And don't go back to the old, don't let the old man drag you back because he'll try to. He'll try to. I used to meet the men I got and say, oh, you don't know what you're missing. You, you, you ought to repent and come on back. I said, no, you need to repent and come over here where I'm at. Amen. Amen. Because this is the good life, church. Yes. I'm telling you, Jesus loves you. Amen. Yes, he, he paid the price for you where you don't have to yes. pay it. Amen. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the good news to every creature of the gospel. Then in verse 16, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. So a person that don't believe, they ain't going to make it. They ain't going to make it. Listen to that verse. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And verse and these signs shall follow them that believe. How many believers have we got in here? Amen. 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 Yes. Let the devil know you're a believer. Yes. Glory to yes. God. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Now it don't say the sign to follow the preacher. It don't say the sign to follow the prophet. It don't say, it says it follows the believer. Amen. When I first got saved, I had more signs following me than, than I mean, just because I was telling people the word. One day I would, would pray for this woman. Pastor Dorothy was working and we'd seen this lady at the funeral home, I've never seen nobody in that shape drag it. Donald Bernie's wife, a girl, beautiful girl. I mean, you can ask Pastor Dorothy. I mean, she drove, and, uh, and my heart went out for her. And uh, Pastor Dorothy was working, and I was supposed to meet her at 12, and it was 11 o'clock. I went to get on my motorcycle, and the Lord spoke to me and said, go to Donald Bernie's house. They lived across town in, a, in a, a sort of a farm, and I flew out there. And I pulled up, and Donald was coming out the door. He said, I got to go pick up my nephew. You know, I said, No, I got to get back. I got to pick up my wife. I'm supposed to go eat with her. And uh, he, he left, and I was out in the yard, and soon they had her walker, and she drug out on that wall, well, on that. Thing you had to pick for to get out of the house. She drew, I mean, drug out on it. And uh, and I started to get on my motorcycle. She, she said, I want you to pray for me. And so I'm just standing there on my motorcycle with my hands up there, and I'm thanking God for healing her. And I'm really thinking he's going to heal her tomorrow, maybe. 
or, or you know, I believe he's going to heal her, but I'm not believing he's going to heal her right then. And all of a sudden, she said, Woo! God's healing me. Amen. Walk her down in the woods, and that woman took off running. And they had a ramp built for her. The Lord knows who I'm talking about. You know? They had a ramp built for her, and she running up and down that ramp like her kid and swinging back and forth, crying and shouting. And, 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 and I mean, just the glory of God was in that place. And so I said, Sue, I'm gone. The, the Lord done it. And so we uh, got out to the end of the road, and Donald pulled in. He was in the van. I said, Donald, the only thing I can say if the Lord had visited your house. <laughs> and uh, I took off. I sung Amazing Grace all the way to get And uh, Sue said he pulled up in the driveway and she walked out on the porch and said he couldn't even get out of the van. Went to the doctor and the doctor said, what happened to you? Let, let, sure, let me tell you, Jesus is a healer. Amen. He, he is a healer. And he wants you well. He wants you well. I go into Eastern Night Baptist Church, and uh, I've got a hold to Mark 16, uh, 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devil. They shall speak with new tongues. I've got a hold to that verse. And I was praying for people in the church. And so this lady asked me to pray for her brother. And he, he went to the veterans hospital and they'd give him 50 50 chance to live. He had a tumor. And so she wanted me to go to the house and pray for him. So I read in the Bible where you know to sit with all. I've never heard that in the Baptist church, I think. And so I was talking to him and her, and I said, Look, have you got any oil? And so she got me a bottle of. Uh, Listen all, and I got sort of carried away. I was, had my eyes closed, and I was anointing with oil, and I, that oil was running off his head, down his face, and then the overall. And when I, when I opened my eyes and seen what I do, I said, look, I got to go. <laughs> so, so, but you know what? He went back to the veterans hospital, and they couldn't find nothing. Amen. Church, God will back you up. You listen to what the Word says. Amen. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, say in His name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. See, when you lay your hands on somebody, just release your faith. It's God's job to heal them, not you. And if they don't get healed right there, they'll get healed on the way. Amen. Amen. If they don't believe in you, will be laying hands on the sick. <clears throat> this world is sick. You you go to yes. a hospital and they can't get a room or anything, ever hospital, not just one. They're all full, they're full. and the believers are not doing their job. Believers are not doing their job. I'm a believer. If you're sick or feel bad, I'll lay hands on God. Well, I would Amen. Your all the time. Look at that man. Never had seen it. And my heart desire was to go to ORU. And when I was 65, I got to go. I took takes, took some classes. Had a good time. But he, he would lay hands on people, man, and they'd get healed. And I said, Lord, I, why can't I do that? He said, read Mark 16. I read it. The believer lays hands on the sick and they get well. And I started doing it. I just had this. And they, they changed pastors. John Gordy come as a pastor. And he came out and started visiting. And I was at National Guard camp. And uh, he told the congregation, he said, look, I told my wife if I would get sick, don't call a doctor, call Billy Trotter. And, uh, God blessed me in Springfield. I'm telling you, I've seen more people here. Listen, I was just, just witnessing. Just, I wasn't even telling them about the church. Because when I told them about the church, they found somebody they didn't like. So I just told them about Jesus. Amen. And you can't find nothing wrong with Jesus. I don't care who you are. Amen. These signs shall follow them that believe. Amen. These signs 
and they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Verse 19. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them, confirming the word with signs following. See, signs don't follow man. They follow Jesus. Let me read that again. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. The, the more the words you get in you, the more you will be blessed. Yes. Signs follow the word. Load yourself up with the word of God. Load yourself up. Get the word in you. And as you go, signs will follow you. People will get healed. People will get saved. Then you'll be standing in the line at Walmart. People say, oh, I can't stand it. They'll move over to another. I've had this time. The anointing, we are, we are, we are anointed. We don't have to pray for the anointing. God has anointed you. Yeah. Amen. We need to realize it. Yeah. And if we need to realize that greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Yeah. We don't have to pray for the power to come down. We've got the power. Amen. 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 The power. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's, it's time the church wakes up. We're walking dynamite. Hallelujah. All right. I'm telling you, the devil is scared of you. If, you, if you're covered in the blood and got the word of God in you. Amen? Amen. We're, we're winners and we need to let the people in the world that don't know Jesus, then there's multitudes dying and going to hell every day. Yeah. Multitude. Because the church is not doing its job. We're not letting our life sad. We go to church when we want to. We stay home when we want to. Our neighbor sees them. They say, well, it must not be as good as they say it is. Can't get an amen. 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 You got to go all the way with God. You can't, you can't serve God on one hand and the devil on the other. Right. You've got to be right with him, 100%. That's right. Amen. 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 If you need prayer, I'm going to pray for you. Amen. 